Yeah, hey, come on, No one yeah, gives a f No one does. What do you mean? Wait, about what? The hell, Mr. K? No one cares. <laughs> I care, Mr. K. Wait, about what? What happened? Wait, hold on. What happened? Mr. K, what happened? I don't care. What do you understand? Wait, you don't care or I don't care? I don't give a fuck. About what? What do you understand? About what? <laughs> That's the point. About what? What is there to care about, Conway? Well, there's a about lot of things. What? That's what I'm asking about. About what? I mean, you got your I real estate business? Care. Fuck them. What are, wait, what are you talking about them? That's you. You're them. It's your real estate business. Yeah, but am I? Or are you? <laughs> or is she up there? You're you, Mr. K. Am I? Am I calm one? Yeah, you're you. Just prove it. Okay, can I see your ID? I don't have one. I don't care. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not a police officer right now. What are you going to anyway. do about it? Yeah, I can't, I can't really do anything, but. So why don't you grab your fucking boss, get a gun, and we both fucking rush in there and let him out. How about that? Well, I, I mean. How about fucking not? I have it right here. Let's go. Let's walk up in there and fucking lay down the law. Well, I don't know if that's wise, because I have my command review here. Uh, Johnson, uh, you got a gun? Huh? Oh, howdy, Johnson. Let's go. We uh, shoot uh, up the pier. Oh, no. Oh, 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 what the hell? I have my command review right now, Come actually. I don't know where they are. Can I borrow you for a I second? don't even feel Yeah, pain. absolutely. You can, you can shoot me. I don't even feel pain. I'm not going to shoot you, okay, unless I, I have care. to. But here, hey, Mr. K, I'll talk to you later. Best of luck. I don't know what is going on. I am a tad upset by everything, but also... No one uh, gave a fuck. What? Why are people so rude to me all the fucking time? Oh, well, no. God he, damn. Well, he was talking about something else. Here, I gotta talk to Captain Turner. But mm, okay. I'll right. talk to you later, Maisie. Yeah, you take it easy. Howdy, Captain Turner. Howdy. You have in the captain's office. The Turks. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Howdy. Where's Captain Slags? Be here soon enough. Supposed to be coming with me to bring you in here. Not sure how they got lost. Did y'all have a good weekend? <laughs> it was busy. How about you? Uh, yeah, I, I learned a lot. I worked on the uh, cars a little bit because I had a bunch of folks asking me about uh, turbos. Learned about buck coin, crypto mining and shit. So it was a very enlightening experience for me. I'm glad to see you back inside the Mishro Pity. All right, so how we're going to kind of do this, we're going to go through different incidents um, that have been regarding you. We're going to kind of give you a summary of what it was and kind of get your side of it. And just kind of go through it situation by situation. Oh, it's a wrap. It's over. Corn's getting fired. <laughs> Clue, did you lose weight? No, I did not lose weight. This is supposed to be a civil situation, okay? We don't need to insult people. You, you think my stature don't demand respect? I, know, I never said that. I'm just saying that the walking around a lot it just um, has been very helpful for you. I can see it. I can see the results all the weekend. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got it now. This was an incident back when you were uh, first hired to the PD. There was a bunch of concerns that were brought to high commands about you pointing a gun at a downed individual. Hospital staff accused you of shooting people or running away from the hospital. Tried to charge people for getting stabbed for running into knives. And you told Happy the Clown to take justice into his own hands, in which he did so and stabbed somebody. Did I do that? Uh, the repeated <laughs> times of calling your shot sheriff when you were warned not to holding tasers at individuals. When we tried to go over the use of force, you did not understand it and had not really known the current SOPs at the time when you were asked. It was also reported you were telling the public that cops on the force do not how to know how to police. So in this situation, you were given three daps. Uh, you had your firearms taken until you were retrained and you had to patrol with Captain Slacks. Like uh, Captain Ruth uh, has stated, this is complying all corners incidents to be discussed the panel. That's, all, that's the whole purpose behind it. Not because we're trying to use it against you. It's more showing you how everything going to start as far as from day one until now. And obviously, some of them will show improvement and some of them will show that, you know, there's no improvement. There's a pattern. Uh, I'll tell you, that was one of the first days I was back in the city. I went outside the hospital. People are injured. And yet a bunch of local EMS that were running around the front. And anytime somebody would breathe or look at someone the wrong way, you'd have a damn horde of dozen EMS running around charging at people. I stood by it then, I stand by it now. The most effective way and the safest way for me to actually protect people in that situation was to do what I did and to, to shoot those locals that were going crazy on the civilians of the city. Batons are inhumane and uh, you can take out about six folks at the same time. 
and I didn't want to hurt nobody. Okay. How do you feel uh, you've grown from that, that whole situation? Uh, I just wait until I get shot before I shoot somebody. All right, moving on. You wanted to shoot through a hostage to shoot a suspect, James Randall. Um, but during the mayor debate, you went undercover without permission or communication with the rest of PD. Uh, you used your authority as a police officer while undercover without PD identification. Dude, just dude, they're making this as hard as possible and not just like triple. It did just triple. No, more Sorry, than triple. I had to figure out where it was. Uh, uh, you handcuffed multiple people during this as well without even asking them to leave or without any marked units in the area. Um, you were issued three daps and suspended actions on becoming of a police officer misuse of authority. Is there anything we talk about as far as that or? I mean, to me, that was just one of them things where, uh, you know, we, we didn't have anything you see that we're not supposed to be on duty with our civilian clothes. There's a specific instance where you've been approved for it by a captain. Oh, it's so hard not to just be Cornwood. Oh, they're making me minus one. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me be Cornwood. <laughs> I can't make any of the jokes I want to make. It's driving me nuts. Okay, anybody have any re other questions regarding that? All right, moving to report 1447. Um, all right, uh, on to the Officer Knight situation where he accidentally discharged a firearm into a suspect <coughs> when he was attempting to tase. After the situation, yourself and Sultan treated the situation without any seriousness and That's as not it was true. stated as a joke. It was suggested Wait. for Knight to say he heard the suspect commit abduction fraud. Knight refused and included that in his Bro. statement to which you and Sultan uh, stated that what Knight did was worse and he should rethink his statement. He said that we were, no, he said that we were falsifying evidence to stick adoption fraud on somebody. Okay, so I'll tell you all exactly what happened. We're going, we're on a foot bail chasing this suspect. He's running away. Brian Knight pulls out a gun instead of a taser, fires at him, he's bleeding, all that shit. I went back, I took photos of the, the area in which the shooting occurred, picked up the evidence, so I had all that shit together. EMS came, took him away. At this point, I'm Brian Knight is like losing his mind because he's about 12 hours in to a situation. You know, we end up going back. I end up getting to processing late because we were trying to make sure that the suspect was good first. Aziz then walks in from talking to him and uh, Aziz says, hey, this guy just committed adoption fraud. He was checking his pockets. He had a bunch of IDs on him. He's like, oh, well, this guy's my dad. This guy's whatever. I can't remember, right? But it was, it basically fit the adoption fraud charge. Aziz and I joke about the commission on the charge, which is something that has happened for years, even recently, even during PD meetings, people have joked about commission on charges. Like, obviously, we're not going to falsely charge somebody for commission. I mean, literally, I'm here doing push-ups, and Aziz is sitting on my back. Like, it, it couldn't it couldn't have been more clear as day that Aziz and I were joking. So I, I, I don't know how, like, the degree of social ineptitude that you have to have to not understand that that's a joke in that situation, given the context, given the push-ups, given the sitting. Yes, we joked about the commission, but we did not falsify evidence. We did not do any of that shit. This sent Aziz into so much of a panic about Aziz losing his job because he was afraid he was going to get dapped for some shit he didn't do that he dropped the charge and there was a there was a judge ready there was a mayor the mayor and, and siobhan came down he had to call it all off and just he dropped the whole thing because he's like look brian knight is losing his dadgum mind and he's pressuring me to drop this thing that isn't false at all you know it turned into a whole situation because brian knight was lying that situation blew my mind i'll be honest i was insulted that night okay let's go on to the next one sorry uh this one yeah, this one I shouldn't have done. After a suspect was called down, Cornwood reloaded and emptied a magazine into the individual who was laying on the ground incapacitated. Cornwood took, was then told a second time to stop shooting in which he reloaded and fired another bullet. The suspect died of a GSW to the head. In his statement in the report, the last bullet was for Sam Bass. When questioned on it initially, he verbally stated to McNulty and Slacks he was crawling. Yeah, I unloaded two magazines into him. Called suspect down and gave him one more, but I shouldn't have done that. When he, when he said you should have done that, can you elaborate? What is it you should have done then in that particular incident? Uh, not shot. Uh, after I called suspect down and had determined that he was down. Anybody have any other not related to incident, just overall questions? Obviously, as you know, recently there's been a lot of talks about the PD as far as changes, as far as what's been happening. Mm -hmm. And I know that um, you know, there's, there's some things you don't agree with, Cletus, as far as what's been happening. And we totally understand that. We don't expect everybody in the police department to agree to what every single captain is saying. But it's a matter of respect. And it's a matter of just being on the same page. 
the issue I have as far as trying to talk to you about this is are you going to other people about our problems that we could discuss internally and trying to fix them internally? Or are you going to other people about our problems and finding different ways to fix them without talking to the captains? I, <clears throat> so one, without talking to the captains, uh, no, absolutely not. These are all problems that have been brought up internally. It Do seems you like advise everybody them to go through the chain of command where things can actually get addressed. When people hear that, they feel like they're being blown off because the chain okay. of command, uh, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. If they feel like go up through the chain of command, what happens? It's a game of telephone. And the more, the more times you're calling somebody else, while I do respect the chain of command, the more different people that you're calling, the more the story changes. And, and how is the conversation going? If, if, if they come up to you and say, Hey, Flutus, what's going on? What is it you're um, telling them? Uh, it depends on what they're asking about. And the mayor stated that multiple officers have come to him complaining about problems in the PD. Um, these issues, uh, are you bringing them outside the PD when you're just not getting the answer you like within the PD? Uh, no, not necessarily. It's, uh, it's beyond not getting the answer you like. It's there's people that are severely distressed. Uh, we, have, we have major problems. This isn't like an asked and answered sort of thing. We don't got money. We don't got funding. I've put $170,000 out of my own pocket into this. I've, I've brought these issues to Nakota. I've, I've referenced Nakota in every single meeting. He's our PD liaison. Uh, I have, you know, the mayor calling me saying, how come Nakota never brings anything up in a meeting? All right. Anybody have anything else? I don't think so. Not this time. There's nothing further. I'll go ahead and walk you out of here, Cornwood. All righty. All right. I'll speak y'all later. Speak y'all. You all the uh, answer and a result within 24 hours. Sure thing. All right, Cornwood. You take care. All right. We'll see you, Captain Turner. Hey, right, it's good seeing you again. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. It's the title. Well, there you the go. Title. Jesus Christ, I'm not on me. Oh shit, howdy, Dan. What's going on, brother? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Shit, I guess they, uh, I mean, I guess they have to decide what I talk to them about. Remember when I said we live in two different worlds in this city? The PD is in a different world than the rest Sir, of the city? Drive-thru. Oh. Hey, we just live in a different world than the rest of this place, don't we? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Nobody. Somebody's gonna get shot in there. Because you had your presentation Saturday, so how did that go? I was asked to hold off on it, as as I believe I should have held off on it. What happened? Howdy. Uh, they said they'll uh, let me know in 24 hours. What? Yeah, they said 24 hours. 24 hours for what? Uh, I don't know. They have to evaluate uh, the conversation or some shit, I guess. What the hell is that? Haven't they had so long to evaluate it already? Uh, yeah, but I guess they have to evaluate the conversation that I had. Um, okay. We'll see what happens. I, uh, it's going to get better before it gets worse. That's, that's, uh, that's how it's looking.